Hey everybody, Jordan here. Welcome back to another Lego unboxing. Would it really be a Brixie unboxing without running down the stairs? This is what we're gonna be unboxing today. This is the Lego Star Wars MBS or Master Builder series, Betrayal at Cloud City. Woo! So this set here is pretty awesome. Like I said, on the way down the stairs there, it is part of the Lego Star Wars MBS or Master Builder series. And in fact, I believe there's only been two sets in that series. This one was the first one. The second one was the Moss Isley Cantina. And they're pretty sweet. So this is Lego set 75222 Betrayal at Cloud City, 2,812 pieces. This amazing set was released in 2018 and it had a very short shelf life. In fact, I think it was only available for approximately a year. It's got some amazing features and also represents some amazing scenes from the Star Wars movie, The Empire Strikes Back. I think you've heard of it. Starting right here on the front of the box in the top right, we've got Boba Fett's starship or the Slave One. Also a landing pad for that there. And you can see that this Master Builder series set has so many different compartments and areas in which you can place all of the amazing minifigures in which this set comes with, including like the dining room table right here, the carbonite chamber, and also the Bespin duel right here with Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. Luke, I am your father. So many great scenes and the Slave One is not the only vehicle that you get in the set. You also get this one right here, which is the Twin Pod Cloud Car. Commonly found at Cloud City. Lego Star Wars in the top left corner. Then you can see all the fantastic minifigures that this set includes. Princess Leia, Chewbacca, Ognaught, Bespin Guard Times 2, R2-D2, C-3PO, Cloud Car Pilot Times 2. C-3PO, I already said that, Lando Clarician, Darth Vader, Lobot, Stormtrooper times two, Luke Skywalker, Leia, Han Solo, Boba Fett, and IG-88. Also, you get two different Han Solos looking at the top of the box. I never realized that. Pretty neat. And then on the other side, of course, we've got some close-up images of some different scenes found in this set here. Features some of the different moving features and different ways that you can position some of the minifigures. Oh, of course you also get Han Solo and Carbonite as well. And another angle of the set. Let's crack this thing open, see how many bags there are and take a look at the instruction manual as well. Oof, so here goes nothing. We're gonna cut some expensive tape here and do the big dump. So I actually got this set here as it is retired from a secondary Lego store that sells uh, retired sets known as the Brick Bin in Calgary. So huge shout out to them for providing this set, I guess. And here it is. Who's ready? Oh yeah. Interior box. Yep. Interior box. And it looks like the interior box has a quote from... Uh, Lando Clarician, it says, I just made a deal that'll keep the Empire out of here forever. And there it is. It's got like a little blueprint on the box, which is pretty neat. Same with the other side as well. I like that when they put graphics on the interior white box. That's definitely a nice touch. And in here should be our instruction manual along with some more pieces, I believe. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at the instruction manual. Oh, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> that's all right. It's a big one. It'll unfold pretty easily. It's pretty heavy and it's uh, not, too, not too terrible. Not too bad at all. Looks like we got a 16 by 16 white plate in here. Let's organize all these bags and check it out. So the 2,812 pieces are divided into 13 different bags. You also get two sticker sheets. The very thick instruction manual. 
has the box art on the front cover. It's in the clouds, of course, because it's Cloud City, and you got a little TIE fighter right there as well. Looks like in the first page we've got that same quote from Lando Clarician about the LEGO Star Wars design team there. Then you can learn about Cloud City, a little bit of background knowledge. Also see the facts and specifications of Cloud City. Population 5.5 million. Holy smokes. So this is a classic scene right here from The Empire Strikes Back, but you can see it's like in a cartoon format. And in fact, look at uh, Boba Fett. doesn't have a paint job. It's interesting. Meet the model designer on this page here. And then learn a little bit more about Cloud City. Favorite features of the set, etc. Then you can meet the graphics designer of the set. And then there's a couple more cartoon style images right here, which is an interesting concept for sure. Then it's going to go through that in several different languages. And then we're going to see how we build this thing using the uh, 13 different stages, 13 different bags. There's one through four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and 10, 11, 12, and 13, which is your final product. Flipping to the last pages of the instruction manual here. Looks like there's 336 steps, and that's on page 395. And you can see some of the features of Cloud City on that page there, and then you can see all the minifigures right there. That's sort of different, showcasing all the different minifigs. And then, of course, we've got our parts list in the very, very back of the instruction manual. Cloud City, pretty cool. Now, at first glance, this set here really does remind me of the Death Star playset, which is just right over here. Because it comes with all the different scenes, a huge amount of minifigures, and the style of it is similar. I think building it will really remind me of building this set here. Although, of course, the Death Star has multiple levels, so for that reason, it's somewhat different, but this sort of gives me the same feeling, the same sort of vibe, you know what I mean? So the time has finally come. We are going to build the Trail at Cloud City Master Builder Series set. Pretty excited about that. For some reason, I didn't get it when I was on the shelf. I wasn't such a completionist when it was available in 2018 to 2019, and the shelf life of it was just so short. Glad to have it now, though, that's for sure. Uh, another one that I regret sort of not getting is the Battle of Hoth set, UCS set, I believe it is. The reason I didn't get that one is because it's not what I call a cohesive set, where all the pieces are sort of in one chunk. Like this one here, everything sort of goes together, and it can't really break apart, and all the pieces get lost. However, I would love to get the uh, Battle of Hoth set because it would be great for creating your own little scene course with the AT-ATs and the snow speeders etc but yeah we'll be live building this here on my channel over the weekend and sort of go from there integrate it into the collection and all that different stuff just excited to unbox it check it out with you guys and boy oh boy am I ever excited remember to like subscribe and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out here on the channel thanks a lot for popping by and have a great one bye